Hey guys, so today I'm reviewing this wig that was sent to me from this amazing company called DY Hair 777. We love a good 7. It's better than a 6. I actually really like this packaging too. I thought it was cute. Like I've never seen a wig come in this. Usually you see it in boxes and stuff. And so having something like this is just so cute and it has like a little drawstring. I don't know. I thought it was really unique. So the wig came in this little tingy and then inside of this it was in this little thingy. And I know you're probably like, why are you telling me this? I don't know why I love these thingies. I just love putting my wigs in these because I feel like if you put them, this is really bad of me I guess. I feel like I throw them in cardboard boxes a lot. I don't know why. Don't ask. So having actual places to put them so they don't get messed up is really important. And also just to label it because this sounds like a flex but I have a lot of wigs and I don't know where a lot of them are from because I get them sent to me sometimes and I just don't know where they're from and I can't like because I like to revive old wigs like a lot of the ones I have now are pretty old and I don't know where either of them are from so I don't it's hard. So now I can know this one's from DY Hair 77 and I'm gonna know regardless because this hair just is different than the rest of them. It's so beautiful. Before y'all clock me, it's not laid yet. Like, I don't have it laid. In this video, I'm gonna be more so reviewing it and talking about it versus laying it down. I am gonna glue it down, but I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm just gonna be using some Got To Be Freeze Blast. Putting that right down my forehead. Just smack it on down. I'm not gonna be doing too much. I'm bad with wigs. If you know me, that's something I talk about a lot on my channel, and I feel like curly hair is the perfect hair if you're not the best with hair because it's a lot poofier and I feel like it hides a lot of like a lot of things like you don't you could part it you probably should probably would look less wiggy but it doesn't need too much it came already a little bit pre-plucked the knots aren't bleached if you wanted to be really really into it you could bleach your knots I'm bad at that so <laughs> Don't ask me to do that because I ruined several wigs with that. So this is their 180% density Brazilian virgin human hair deep wave lace front wig in 20 inches. 180 density makes sense because this John is thick. So I was getting thick but this is like this is thickums to the max. I'm sorry about my shirt. I was trying to look cute for this video, but I didn't have anything to wear underneath it, so don't judge me too hard. So I'll have the link below to the wig. Use code Zaria for $10 off a wig, so use it, please. <laughs> I got it straight off the package, and I didn't initially like it. I will show you how the curls were looking right here, covering my face, because I was looking a little close, um, struggly. Um, but this is how the curls were looking. Obviously, when a wig gets out of the case, never judge a wig for that. It's like judging a book by its cover. Come on, guys. We know this now. So you have to let it settle. I know when I first tried it on, I was like, I don't like this. A couple minutes later, I don't like this. An hour later, I don't like this. Two, three, four, I was like, ooh, I'm looking like that bitch. And if you're like me, you often like jump to conclusions with wigs. I'm someone, whenever I change my hair, I don't care what style. Could be afro, could be long blonde, could be curly black wavy. It doesn't matter. The moment I change my hair, I'm like, I hate this. I've never looked as ugly before in my entire existence. What am I doing with myself? So it takes a second and you have to let it happen. What did it for me was just playing with the hair, getting it bigger like we like it, and just playing around with it. Because once you play around with it, you get the curls to where you like it. I realized with this wig, I was combing it out a lot and I was like, I don't like it that huge. Yeah, like Diana Ross hair, I don't want it that big. I want it bigger, I want volume, but not too big. And this kind of came to exactly where I want it to be. Also, I don't like super long curls here because I just feel like it looks kind of too much but I feel like this lands on the perfect place for me right under the breast this is and that's like my favorite like length for hair and it is 20 inches but since it is kind of wavy it ends more like at 18. I cut the lace I'm not the best at cutting the lace I do admit it the reason I'm not like completely gluing it all the way down like doing the wig cap method doing all that crazy stuff is because I need my hair underneath to be rebraided it's not sitting down I have a big head and so if my head isn't fresh Freshly braided my wigs will be like pew, like it just won't sit down as well and so this at first I was like this is not big head friendly because this is not happening then I remembered you have a big head and then you have your hair underneath so with that you have a humongous head girl no one had your head's just outside their limits so I think once I braid my hair it will fit better but that's just also something to keep in mind if you do like have a lot of hair and a big head because I feel you on that ignore my edges okay y'all don't handle my edges freeze blast 
Do I like the freeze glass or the black or the yellow? It's got to be. I have the black one and I got this one. Sometimes I don't like this one because I feel like it'd be dripping down my face. But I feel like this one dries faster. But before that, so it adheres to your face. You should go in with some type of like makeup remover, stringent, whatever, to get rid of your makeup so it would adhere and it not mess up your makeup because the glue will have your makeup looking like all goopy and stuff. And oh, uh, I think there's something wrong. I'm trying not to be hypochondriac, but like I've been telling people for months now, and like I don't think I would literally be that dumb to like assume that something's wrong with me like this. Something's, something's happening. Shake, shake. I feel like my hairline goes lower than a lot of people's. That's why for me wigs are really hard because look how close on my side by sideburns get. I low-key like the smell of this. Am I alone? It dries really quickly. I'm trying to get so much better at like my wig installations because I've never got them professionally installed. And maybe I should. I feel like I should get them professionally installed once. That way I can know what they do. Like I watch enough YouTube tutorials. I'm like, that's enough. But like I learn by like doing also seeing someone do it in front of me might help and sometimes I get to the point where I feel like I have to go in with this gel because I feel like this gel just won't get my my sideburns down so I have to go in with a layer of this is this interesting I'm literally just putting on hair gel also it's not really fitting over my head because my hair is not braided all the way I think people post you're supposed to do this close up like what what the lace is wrong Y'all, I'm trying my hardest. Some of us should just really go to professionals. The lace is completely a thousand percent clockable. It's pretty damn good for someone that is very bad at everything she does. Not really. The baby hairs on this this side are looking. Very adulty hairs, very pre-med school hairs. Like they look like they know stuff. I'm sorry, y'all. This is so hard because my hair is so overgrown that like it won't fit. And my head's so big and my hairline goes so far down. It's just not working right now. But I still wanted to show you guys this wig because it is gorgeous. Like, ignore the hairline. But it is pre-plucked. I feel like this is the perfect fall slash winter wig. So you guys will be seeing me wearing this all the time. So if you want to update, honestly, just watch my videos. You can just see what it's going to be looking like throughout the next couple months. And then I can always come back to this video in a couple months and just leave a comment and tell you guys how this hair is sitting. But right now, I really love it. Like, the curl pattern is, like, exactly the way I want it. It's not a curl. It's a wave. I'm aware. But, like, the wave pattern is, like, super nice. It's not too long. It's the perfect density for me. You want to shoot a bet? I feel like it looks so nice in the back. Oh, hey there. Were you mesmerized by my hair? Because I was too. <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay, so yeah, let me tell some more about this hair. It does have combs. It has adjustable straps. It has lace in the back as well. Like the, you know, that little lace they put in the back. Okay, so this is a really easy wig if you don't like slaying your hair that much. Because I feel like it's a lot easier to make look realistic i know this doesn't i know it looks really wiggy but i feel like i with time with patience i can start slaying my wigs a little bit more when it came in the mail didn't we have an odor like it's very slight like it's that natural like hair order i feel like older you always get but it's very very slight like you have to sniff it to smell it it's giving me so much life right now I love it. It has so much volume like a curly hair. And some pieces are a little bit more like a curl. Like this one, I don't know if you can tell. Like, I guess it curls kind of. Yeah, I guess all of it is a deep spiral. I'll put it, I'll put a little chart. It's, it's doing a spiral type of hair. I'll put that up there. I think that's what this is. I was so happy to find out this wasn't a darkish brown. I feel like whenever I get real hair wigs, they're always like a dark brown. I always want like a 1B type of wig. This is actually like a 1B. I really, really like it. And this reminds me of this type of wig because I always used to mess with synthetics because my pocket didn't have the money for real hair. And it still does that. I'm just lucky to get sent it. But I would always look for synthetic wigs that had this type of pattern if you know anything about synthetic wigs you know like in a couple seconds y'all they tangle they get mad they get crazy you can't sleep in them you can't work out in them you can't really do too much because that would be a disaster i did a video about how to save in synthetic wig though so you should probably watch that if you want to for this wig you won't have to do with as much as that obviously you still need to care of it still need to make sure it's detangle it with curly wigs make sure you detangle it every so often or the tangles will tangle this probably wasn't the best review um i'm not like 
the best of these things but I hope you guys still found some use of this if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and tell me guys below if you would be into seeing more hair videos because I actually like really want to start trying to really get good at hair because I wear wigs all of the time if you guys want to see me you know do a series of trying to like perfect my hair struggles and actually learn how to lay a wig keep watching because I think I'm gonna try it out I think it's a really flattering wig. I was scared because I feel like a lot of curly wigs make my face look fat because they like stop and they're super curly. And I think I have a very long, not very defined face. It's just, it's just a long schlong. Like, it's just long. You know what I mean? So, um, I don't like like super big curly wigs that are short and I don't like super long. I like something in the middle. And this is just like the perfect happy medium for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. You can't tell me not when I'm wearing this wig. I'm sorry. Did you say something? Oh, I couldn't hear you behind my Brazilian deep wave wig. <laughs> I couldn't quite hear what you said.